hi this is fourth part of the video for tourist power 4 factorial design so in this video we will discuss about the interaction plots first of all we have two interaction plot a is basically temperature and c is the concentration so i write c o n c whereas again this a is temperature and this d is stirring rate so now we will first explain we will first discuss this plot so we have two levels of the a this minus is showing the low level and the plus is showing high level so again we have the two levels of c plus high level and this minus as low level now first of all we will discuss about this uh, high level of the c so two experiments have been performed at the high level of the c one of the experiment is performed at the high level of the C when the temperature is at low level. And then the second experiment is performed at the high level of the C when the temperature is at high level. So we can see uh, that in these two observations, by changing the temperature from low to high, we haven't seen any steep increase or too much increase. So we can say that the temperature effect is very small when the concentration is at high level so at high level of the concentration we haven't noticed any you can say noticeable or significant increase or decrease in the response variable value after that again two experiments have been performed this experiment and this experiment these two experiments are performed at the low level of C. You can see C negative here and also this experiment is performed at the C negative, low level of the uh, concentration. So you can see when we have performed the experiment at low level of C, comma at low level of the temperature, the response variable value is too low. But again, when the same when the experiment has been performed at the low level of the concentration, but at high level of the temperature, we see a very high, the maximum response. So we can see we got a very high response variable value. So what we can conclude from this, we can conclude that the effect of temperature is very high. Why? Because at the low level of the concentration, when we have changed this temperature from low level to high level, our response variable value become too much high. There is a too much increase in the value of the response variable. Now I will explain this uh, second graph. You can see again we have four different experiments. These are showing by these four dots. Now, first of all, we will discuss about uh, the, the effect of stirring rate at low level. So D is at negative or it is at low level. Now, one of the experiment when the D is at low level is this one and the second one is this. So you can see that at low level of the D value, stirring rate value, whether we have the temperature at low or temperature at high, the effect is found to be negligible because this line is almost straight one. So you can see that the D at negative, A at negative, D negative, A positive. So the effect is found to be negligible because there is, no, you can see that changing the temperature at the low level of the steering rate haven't, uh, haven't affected the response variable value because there is no increase or decreasing trend in this line. However, now we will discuss our second setting when the D is at high level, A is at low, when the D is again at high level and the A is at high level. What will be the effect? So first of all, we will discuss this experiment. This experiment has been performed when the A is at low level and then this experiment has performed when the A is at high level. So you can see that the high level of the steering rate D positive is kept constant only the value or levels of a are changing so what's the effect of changing the temperature levels you can see when we increase the temperature from the low level from the low level off to the high level there is a significant increase in the value of the response variable 
So the effect of change in temperature at the high level of the stirring rate is found to be significant. A regression model has been estimated for only those effects that are found to be significant. X1 is temperature, X3 is concentration, X4 is stirring rate. Because A, C, D is found to be significant only, so we have included only those terms in our model and we have estimated the value of response variable that has been represented by Y bar. Now, this regression model will be used in order to estimate the residuals. So, first of all, we will put all of the values at low level. So, X1 at low, X3, X4, likewise and we will get our estimated value. So this will result in our estimated value. Now how we can calculate the residuals? So the formula for the residual is equal to our observation or experimental value that we have got from the uh, after the experimentation minus estimated value estimated value if you want to write it mathematically you can see y i individual observation minus y hat this will give you the residual if somewhere you have read the word error let me show you the difference between the error so error is again you will write the individual observation this one and then minus the mean overall mean of all the observation that we have from the experimental data here the residue here the estimate value that is 46.22 has been calculated for only one setting when all of the levels are at low level however you have it's your part that you have to compute this estimated value for all of the combinations so you have basically total of 16 combination in this uh, experiment because it's a 2 raised to power 4 factorial design so again you have to minus each and every experimental or observed observed value from the estimated value in this case you will get your 16 residuals now again these residuals should be plotted in order to check whether they fall in normal distribution and assumption or not thanks a lot for watching this series bye